Yeah, if someone is giving you a headache, just leave that guy that's giving you because had he's giving you a headache, he's giving somebody else butterflies in, his, in her tummy. So go for who will give you your own butterflies, oh, like someone that you know that you can. Ladies, um, are you listening? Are you listen listening? No, but I'm not, I'm not saying you should have plenty of boyfriends. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's your girl Osla, and I have a very wonderful person on our <laughs> channel today. Banter with NJ. Um, I don't even know what to say about Banter with NJ because I mean, like, my mouth is filled up with so many Aww. things. But NJ is someone that I really appreciate. Aww. And um, yeah, so today um, we had this a collaboration yes, video. It is. So that means there's another video on Banter with NJ. Yeah. So you guys should head over to her channel we and should. see the video we sh very we shot. Very educated. Yeah, we shot. <laughs> <laughs> we filmed. Okay, we filmed. Yeah. yeah, so you guys will have a lot to learn from yes, that video. Will, so moving forward, mm -hmm. today um, I've, been, I've actually been having a lot of reality checks in my life. And I know girls in my situation as well, yeah. single girls should also be having that kind of reality check. So yeah. I was thinking out loud, um, do you think um, a lady should just... A lady, I don't want to call guys because I yeah. feel like they can always have options yeah. as far as they have money. Yeah. But for a lady, they do you think... Yes. So do you think a lady should have just... A single lady should just have one option of a guy or she should have like multiple options? So... I'm not married. I'm going to tell you guys <laughs> what I think. People should not criticize. If you want to criticize me, criticize. But I mean, I'm no, telling you, you my own opinion. Your own opinion in the yeah. Then NJ will give us her own opinion yeah. as a married person as well. What mm -hmm. she thinks. So yeah. I, starting first. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I can start. So um, NJ, we want to know what do you think? Do you think um, ladies should, you know, have options of men that? Are in their life mm -hmm. or they should just keep to one guy okay. and why do you think they should do that well if you have, if you had asked me this question years back i would have been like oh no no she just stick to one person and you know those kind of things yeah but now i feel like mm, you should give you you can give several people you know the opportunity to get to know you better or something because they're the ones coming so yeah you're the one giving them an opportunity so yeah i'm not saying that um, like you should be having sexual relations with all of them okay. but just the same way you've given A comes to you right and you're like okay we're talking B comes to you yeah you can keep talking with B and C and D and Z but when there is some sort of confusion like how do you how will you maintain it because it's not like you're dating you see there was someone that said something I can't remember which video. I think it was because Ada and that, Nelo, yes, something about dating difference between dating and um something being in a relationship or something like that yeah. you're dating like you were you're trying to find who it is you're not compromising your uh, integrity or anything like that you're just mm. getting to know all of them to know which one you get guys do these things so and they yeah. look as if they, they don't do it do. They, they, they take things. different girls out and then after a while they settle with one it's normal just Check them out and then know which one is best for you. But do you think it, they might get confused? The like, girls can it lead to can it lead to confusion and how do you like handle like the girl gets and like confused. do you feel like there's a like, well if you get confused, amount, you about should you have like as much as or what? No, not as much as of course you can't handle as much as maybe three, okay. two if you're you know yeah. Yeah, and it's not like you're compromising anything for God's sake. You're not doing anything. I'm not telling you to go and be sleeping around. Yeah, yeah. Just weigh your options, okay? The first person that comes to you might not be the best. It could be the third person or the fourth person. Mm. And most girls, like once they're in a relationship, even if it's not a good one, another, a better person is coming. They don't know how to leave that relationship or they don't want to because they believe in, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. But just imagine if you were not in a relationship already. And the better person comes along while you're still dating, getting to know yourself. So, yeah, why not? Mm. You get something better. Okay. Well, for me, <laughs> um, I think that in this age, you know, and time, the way the world is evolving, yeah. people should stop saying they are dating somebody i feel like what we should be saying is i'm seeing this person okay you know What's more than saying dating, what if, you know, dating 
I I know that because of the way we understand. Once okay. I just said I'm dating, it's like true. this is my yeah, only true. boyfriend. This is my yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. So I feel people should do more of. I'm seeing it. They ask okay. you, are you dating? No, I'm seeing this person. Okay. But I've seen, when you say, I'm I know, Shabon. Yeah, dating. but I feel like when you say you're seeing somebody, or you can just say, yeah, I have people that I'm considering. <laughs> okay. Don't you ask me? Yeah. Okay. If someone should ask, I feel like, oh, yeah, I have someone that I'm considering. You, can, you, you don't have to even say you have people. You just have someone that, yeah. you know, that we're talking, like, I'm, you know, we don't use court yeah. in this um, part of yeah, the world. But more. then you can just say you have somebody. I feel like we should do more of you know seeing people, getting to know people yes, more. Yes, yeah. So me, I don't think as a single girl, you should have hmm, my no, advice. Of course, so, go ahead. You know, I don't want to lie. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should just have one option. Mm -hmm. And um, even if you're going to have one option, even if you should have yeah. one option, then that should be because you know you guys have discussed to the infinite end. People yeah. have agreed. This is what is going to happen when we are together yeah. in by next year december we're getting back <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like there must be serious commitment yeah, yeah, because I mean. it's very very hard I think that's what they call serious yes there must yes it's only when you've committed to somebody like the person has committed back like vice yeah. versa it's not when because you, you're not even sure if this person is going to settle down with True. you. You'll not be doing True. you have boyfriend. You kind of move your head. You yes. don't have oh, because these True. guys, you see, I'm not I'm not trying to insult guys or anything, yeah. but guys, they always weigh options. They, do. they always weigh like every they time do. they're always checking. Like it might just be a little thing that this other girl they feel like they'll get from this other person, that that's True. why they'll leave you True. and then they're with that other person. True. So once you have just one person. Yeah. then that means you have to you know put in a lot of commitment like it has to be based on very serious commitment you need to know when you are getting married mm -hmm. you need to know mm -hmm. where you are going to stay honestly because people need to have and this conversation have, like because uh, family and all that no no per se because no, that one is not it's not for the family it's like it's sealing it's not like meeting friends, you know, when the mom knows you there are so the many siblings. women that are meeting family members oh, yes. and the family members will even help and For make real? it look as if it's ah that was it's not even a criteria. It's, a, it's even the moms, it could be it could be a good thing, Shabo. Yeah. but it's it's not a guarantee. That's okay. the point. Meeting a family member is not a guarantee. Well, I feel like you can just tell nothing is a guarantee, it's only what they've told you. So that if they end up if they told you they're going to marry you and they're not married, you take person to court. So yeah, if you take that person to court, how do you prove that the person actually said whatever they said? You know, saying it's your they said. word against the person. Is that I saw it. I saw it on what? IG where one lady took. They say one lady took her boyfriend that promised her marriage, and the guy did not marry her again. And she got is it four million or so? Uh, so you should be charging these guys. Maybe you have to record this or something. Yes, yeah, so if they tell you, tell them. I'm taking records. Yeah, no, don't, you tell them anyway, don't tell them, Sha, but just saying. record the ladies. Let's be woke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Let's God. Be woke. So I feel I'm not I'm not trying to promote um, you guys having you know more than one. No, you're not asking them. Yeah, to do I'm like just the saying thing, like yeah. if if you're going to have just one person, then it should be very defined. Yes. Know what you're having with somebody. It should be defined. You have to know whether he's ready to commit or not. That's right. Because you might just be there. I'm in a relationship. Time will be passing now. True. You'll be doing True. other people that know what right. they want right. are coming. You'll be exactly. doing. I'm sorry, I'm in a relationship. That person in a relationship exactly. has never. People have not sat down to discuss That's future true. plans. So I feel like you should discuss future plans like. Mm -hmm. where, when were we getting married? When yeah. are we not, not really and tell me the date? This like, thing of genotype. You yes. know it's not later. The guy not say, ah, oh, you're AS and AS. Some yeah. of them, they are, they are, they are AAO. They would like to you. <laughs> they would like to you so. Because they know no. that's like a concrete, yeah. you know. Yes. Not too. If I feel if they are AS, I'm, be careful with the gender type, of, but still, yeah. don't mind him. They can work it out. <laughs> How do you work it out? They can work it out. You don't have like, to have biological children. Well, but at least just you shouldn't have you shouldn't you know get married son that is as yeah, if you're as yeah. just to put, just for your kids they are yeah, sick and all. True. But then, like I was saying, I feel mm. when it comes to if you want to have one man in your life mm. as a lady, there has to be serious commitment. Yes, true. He needs to. I'm not saying like you you as lady needs to you need to prove anything to show him. Because I, I know that when a woman likes a man very well, like yeah. she goes all she out. Goes all so out. the yes. guy also needs to show you why 
it's he's the one that he wants you to just be paying attention to he I needs agree. to prove to you tell you, you you guys have to have discussions your family how many kids you think you want to have you need to discuss it with that guy then you know that okay fine it's like i'll just be with this person you know? yes. but if he's not giving you all those type of talk my dear sister <laughs> any other guy that i'm not just saying any other guy like that though yeah, of course. you have prospect as a lady you know what you're looking for in a man so if you meet like if you somehow somehow meet somebody and the person has you know person checks your you know boxes yeah. for some certain things then you can just you know be talking to the person yeah mm -hmm. just just check most of your boxes yeah, most, uh, just you know you can keep the person you know and then you guys will be talking because nothing is guaranteed there's no guarantee per se that you will end up with somebody even if the person should promise you married but there's no guarantees so i don't think a lady should you know have just one person per se you're getting to know these people there's no guarantee that that person you're with is the one that God wants for you. Yeah. So you can, and then also, I think you can also pray about like if you Definitely. have somebody and Definitely. you feel you want to end up with this person, and you guys have gotten to you know a very you know serious level. You can pray about it. You, you can pray about it on your own or with the person. Yeah, yeah. somehow, somehow, God will show you the sign, but True. you will know that God is showing you the True. sign. Or it's True. when it will happen, it's after it has happened. And you're now people say that, Oh, the day they prayed, Oh, God, please show me a sign. If this person is me, I'm not talking out of small experience then, because <laughs> oh, yeah. you will not know when God is showing you a yeah. sign. Eh, like if, for example, if you say God should show you a sign that this person is what you want, the thing will happen if is when you're now, you know, having a reality check, like when you're being honest to yourself, yeah. that's when you now know that ah, it's like it was after I prayed that yes, I started noticing. Yes. You won't know when it's happening. Yeah. You know, so I feel like you should do a lot of praying as well if you if you really want to have somebody. But then if the guy is not committing to you, if the guy is not telling you you know planning his future with you back to back like see if a guy yeah, wants you if a guy wants you eh, the way he will follow you up <laughs> That's true. Eh? the way he will follow you like well, right from guys them don't know how to follow up. and those know. they should go now the one that know how to follow up <laughs> <laughs> because hmm, i keep saying like people should not and then i feel like as a woman i'm not saying no, all these know your words no yeah. but the guy himself, he knows his what. He knows he can yes. get you. That's why he's coming for True. you. So you too, you know that you are something now as a lady. So I feel as the woman... I agree with everything you're uh, saying. Know your too. what though. And then, I'm not saying you have it all over in your head. Like, but you could just use it as, you know, something. A standard to make up your mind. You know that if somebody's giving you less than what you think you deserve, you're not asking for too much. I you're mean, just for you move. Deserve. But a man that wants you, oh my god, from the beginning, from the very beginning, <laughs> from the beginning, <laughs> from the very beginning, he is like he is going straight to the point. He's telling you that yeah, this is what he wants. It'll yeah, be very true. funny, but he, he means he means serious some business. men they intentionally say these things to women just to get them to trust them, mm. and then at the end of the day, when they get what they want, they're gone. Yeah, that's so why that have doesn't, to be smart, isn't sharp. always applicable, you know. Mm. This word, not in that, this sharp. life, not just balance. Like, yes. That's what they always say, exactly. But then, any guy, that you mean, Sha, when someone is really when somebody serious, really when wants you, a guy that doesn't want you to wants, give you, you know. Ah, yeah. Like, you, you'll be asking yourself, Am I this fine? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? Like, like, <laughs> uh, like, you will not know until, if someone is giving you a headache, just leave that guy as giving because had he's giving you a headache, he's giving somebody else butterflies True. in his in her tummy. So <laughs> Go for who will give you your own butterflies, oh, like someone that you know that you can. Ladies, um, are you listening? Are you listen listening? No, but I'm not, I'm listening? not saying you have plenty of boyfriends. <laughs> you can commit to because I didn't say you have. I'm just saying, like, if the guy is not committing to yeah, you, that's exactly. my point. Yeah, so other well, how than that, do you know a guy is not committed to you? Like, how do you know he's not serious? Mm. Are there any telling signs or something? Well, for me. Let me let me, I think let me let me answer it the other way. Like, how do you know he's serious? Okay. I think it'll be easier for me to say okay. what I think. Mm -hmm. uh, your opinions might differ. If you have any different opinions, you let us Share know in us, the please. comment section. But I think um, if a guy is you know committed and serious about you, like I said, it takes just one conversation with the person. For me, oh sha. Like I mean, when, when I mean conversation, like. Within yourself, you will know yeah. that ah, 
it's like like something will just tell you in your gut that is like I'm, I'm actually very compatible with this person and i feel like the guy will say it men they don't they don't i know some men it's very very few that you see a guy not finding it so easy to you know express himself yeah, yeah but most guys forget it they'll be doing they cannot express if they see the girl that is making them go mad they will express right. they will do right. men they will do things but then they want something they'll go for it that's, that's just it they that's go for true. it with full force and they are telling you what they want uh, so i feel like you would know the, you yeah. guys are discussing see, when, yeah, everything it's true that when a guy wants you or mm. something they go for it but it does not mean that he wants you for marriage yeah very possible too yeah if i not very possible it's very it yeah. happens a lot yeah. as well but then exactly. at least so far as he's, i'm not saying you should, like when you meet a guy you should ask him are you going to marry me yeah, of course not. <laughs> i'm not These saying that i'm just saying like someone that is interested in you showing yeah. interest you're not the one that will make him to he knows what he wants so he would be the one to you know come up with all those type of conversations oh i like you blah 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 i would, li I would like to get to know you you know stuff like that yeah mm. yeah okay <laughs> yeah, so i don't know do you have any other thing to say um, what do you think is any is there anything any advice you want to give Girls. Just be smart, be wise. Just, don't just think with your heart. Think with your heart and your head. And with your head, a lot. Yeah. Ah, so yeah. yeah, nothing is black and white, mm. and not everything is the way it seems. I don't know. Yeah. True. Me, I'm talking on behalf of <laughs> we single ladies. Don't listen to these guys that are not serious. <laughs> if they are not serious, move. <laughs> there is always like I feel like there is somebody for everybody. Uh, so if I this person is giving you like if you're i feel like if the woman is putting more in fact signs of a guy that is not serious you're putting more than the guy is putting into the relationship no that's not always the mm. case yeah most i get what you Somehow. mean most times it is yeah when you're putting in way more than he is and he is not shy but i mean like, i think putting in is has power you do more Efforts of the communication yes. so the type of effort i mean is like communication you know i think it's more of communication yeah, actually you check how he communicates if he's not communicating for me communication is a, if you're not communicating is a yeah, deal breaker yeah. the end like no, you said that's just you because like you stop putting in communication and the relationship exactly with communication well. other things now come under it yeah so if you guys are not communicating the way you have to communicate depending on your situation then i mean yeah, that guy is not being serious true i agree yeah so yeah, yeah so you I guys guess. tell us what you think in the comment section okay yeah, what do you think know. should young single ladies should they put all their eggs in one basket or should they have different baskets you know different colors to, yes you know, <laughs> spread the fruit around yeah yeah so just so. tell us what you think in the comment section yeah and you guys should not forget to give this video a thumbs up yes and Please. remember we also yeah. have a video on my channel yeah banter so make sure NG. you go to so banter with ng and then very very yeah educative very very like you're going to get something going to from it a lot yeah we all know that Osla is a pharmacist and yes. she shared a lot of health tips and all that. We asked her questions and she gave I us. I answered best most, of my yeah, knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, please head over to my channel and watch my videos. Okay, well. so if you guys have been watching this video to this extent, please make sure you subscribe. If you've not subscribed, I'm, you know, if I've offended you and you've not been subscribing, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just sorry. subscribe to subscribe my YouTube to channel, channel and watch. She's almost at 1,000. Yes, yeah, almost, almost at 1,000 1, subscribers. Just please push me there. Yeah, just a little okay. push that's all yeah. she needs so thank you guys for watching this yes, video hope you, you enjoyed this video and don't forget to go to banter with nj yep, and yep, go and yep, watch yep. our other video okay <laughs> see you guys some other time Bye.